welcome in this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the area of a polygon. Today in this video, we will see examples based on this. Can you find the area of colored figures shown? Let's start with the first figure. This is a polygon whose area can be found by the method we learned in the previous video. If we connect these points of this shape in a straight line, you can see that we get three triangles. which we can classify as triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3. Can you tell the formula for the area of a triangle? Well done! The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 by 2 times the base times the height. Do we know the height and base measurement of triangle 1? From the information given in the question, we know that the distance between two points is 1 inch, from which we can say that the height of triangle 1 is 1 inch and length of base is 2 inches. So with the help of which, we find the area of triangle 1, which is 1 square inch. Similarly, we find the height of the triangle 2 and 3 and the length of the base and then their area can be determined. As a result, after the sum of areas, we get the area of first figure which is 5 square inches. Let us now look at the second shape. So now in this case, how will we find the area of this shape? We can see that this green shape is surrounded by a square. In addition to this green shape, we see these three triangles, whom we respectively name triangle 3, triangle 4, triangle 5 whose length and height we can easily measure. This is how you can find their area. And then by subtracting the sum of the areas of the three triangles from the total area of the square, we get the area of the green figure. So can you tell what will be the area of the square? Perfect! Since the length of each side of the square is 4 inches, the area of the square will be 16 square inches. With the help of which, we get 8 square inches of green area. Today in this video, we saw examples based on the area of polygons.